Hello, my name is Anthony, and welcome to a new episode on the Teddy Bear Seller. And yes, I am wearing the face of shame as I have once more lost my leather helmet. As you all know, this helmet represents that I am a firebender. And Lord, 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 it, I had a brand new helmet and just is gone in a few seconds as I got both spammed by a skeleton. But let's jump right into business as today we've got a lot of things to do. And this starts with these ducks. Yes, we have a lot of ducks wandering the place everywhere in the Fair Nation. And in fact, we've learned that those ducks are in fact refugees. But we'll have to decide what we'll do of them, so that will be the Archmage decision. For instance, some other academies not naming them the Night Sorcerers, decided to have a barbecue with them. Yes, you heard me, a barbecue, and we've been all invited. Those ducks turned out being very delightful and very tasty. But what we'll do with them, uh, I really don't know. Maybe we should use them to feed the dragons? I don't know, that will have to be decided by our... But that's clearly not our only issue here. You see this chest monster... Sorry, the key has got to go up. You see this chest all the place. I need to find something to get rid of them. And that's why I finally moved into my new house here. Look at this, this house is looking amazing. So I've made myself a proper storage system because I'm someone who really likes to have everything sorted properly. So let me show you what I've done there. That was Nadan. This, my brother didn't make it and I'm pretty satisfied by the look of it. So you'll see that this time, I will be able to store my stuff properly. But clearly there won't be enough space in there to store everything as I continue to grind. I do a lot of grind all the time and this space is not gonna be big enough. So I probably have to carve into the walls and push them back to add some more chests. Do -dum, do -dum. Oh, and I really like these doors, these arches. I really love them. In fact, this house is really looking amazing. Did I show you around? I can't even remember that. Well, let's do it right now. So, we've got the garden there. It's looking absolutely amazing. We have stairs going down into the Fire Nation Valley. So the garden is... There's a lot of going inside them. But one of my favorite rooms is this one. This is gonna be the room in which we present all the armors we make, all the big stuff we have. So that's kinda... I think Okmoon got this inspiration from Skyrim. Well, there were like some armor stands where you could uh, place all your armors. I really like this idea. So there is going to be our main um, rooms, in fact. So this is our storage system and up there, there is our bedroom. So you can see that it's pretty empty at the moment, so I'll have to find uh, some things to place all around. But don't worry, that always comes faster than you imagine it. But overall, this house cost me really a lot of lions, the money in the fairy nation. But it's nothing compared to this one. This one will be Oakmoon's one. I don't even know if he's bought it already. But it's looking awesome. I love this story. I really love it. And this one over there is going to be Kendra's one. But the thing is, we'll need a new house as we have a new member of the Fire Nation. And I think it's time that we say him hello. Yeah, just making sure he's safe in this place. But now we need to start working properly on the Fairy Nation, and today I would like to make it the most attractive nation in the Sorcerer's world. But what can tell you that a nation is very attractive? Well, for me the, 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 the solution is simple, it's if it's a lot of people come to it. So we need to find a way to attract people to come here and to trade here and use some lands. Well, I found a way, and this is to make people addicted to game. So my plan is very simple. I'm gonna make a game that is very addictive and that will make people spend a lot of time at the Fair Nation. And I think it's gonna be a kind of random game. I'm probably gonna make something like the Goblin Matter I made on the IBC server. So let's jump into a build time lapse. Here we go!
Okay, so I basically finished the system in itself here, so it's working properly, but I'll have to work on the design after that. So how this will uh, work, in fact, people will have to pay something. So let's say that's one redstone dust, because I'm a pro guy. Then there will be proposed three different choker boxes, and I'll have to choose one. I've got all the time I need to choose the one I want. So I really like the blue one, so I'm gonna take it. So I press this button, there. I gain my sh blue sugar box and the other ones goes back into uh, the system. The cool thing about it is that it's almost entirely automatic. We just need to find some sugar boxes to um, turn into the system. We can't uh, get rid of that, it's absolutely necessary. But that's all we need, so I just have to choose a sugar, put it down there and it's gonna go back into the system and people can maybe earn it at some point. So that's really easy to refill it. And I've seen with my Archmage, and all she asks for is that I pay a 10% tax on all the profit I make with this game. And these profits, I can tell you, are gonna be huge. But to make profits, I need to finish it off, make a proper design, and also refill it. Refill it will not take me a lot of time, but making a proper building around it, huh, that's gonna be not that easy. So, after sorting through my stuff, I've managed to make a lot of prices away. And I can tell you that some of them are absolutely amazing. Just give you a quick insight, but I'm not going to show you every one of them, obviously. So now all I've got to do is pick them all and place them into the system. And down they go! But now, the easiest part is done, and <laughs> I have to do something that I'm really not good at. It's to build something around that. So guys, let's not jump into a build time-lapse and let's see what we're able to do for this build here. And yep, I finished the build around here. But to be honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It feels very, very massive to me. You know, I've insp I've got inspired by Okumun, different palaces all over the place, uh, especially for the rooftops, in fact. So this is very inspired from Ox buildings, but it feels so massive compared to them. But I guess that has all. It's looking decently. I would say, but what's really cool about it is the very evening that I finished the, the, the game, the background came and played at the game. I'm not sure if he played twice or, or if there was someone else who played the game, but he played it, so we've already made 10 lions. But what's more important is not that we make profit, we'll definitely make some profit with it, but it was to attract people to the Fire Nation. That means that some people came here to play at the game. And also, that also means that they had to make lions, so to trade in a training center. That was the whole purpose of all these games. To finally have people coming in and trade here. And I have seen that someone has traded some shroom lights. And I love those things, but I don't really like to get them, to go and grind them. So, they, make, they did make six lions. But now we have some shroom lights stored into our training center, that's amazing. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to buy them right around. There you go. And I've just received a message from my Archmage, Different Love, and she told me that they just made an OK XP farm with Medic, so I'll have to check that out. She gave me the coordinates in the nether, if I can fly out of here. Alright, so that should be that way. And actually, it's not that far, it's only 600 blocks from 
here and the nether that's really fast to travel 600 blocks so we are almost there let's see this should appear right now oh there's a portal is that all for some strange reason my Archmage's voice different love was not recorded so i'm sorry but you'll have to deal with the subtitles there you go so it's looking so cool what's this what is that so what oh that's the witch farm okay so the witch spawned them down there and then they go up here and they got killed that's it to be honest i had never seen a witch farm for myself the only one i had ever seen was mumbo jumbo's one <laughs> what is this beacon oh okay it's on the from her very it looked like it was made with netherite. Netherite. Wonderful. Okay, so these are all the items we can get with the witch farm. So we can get some witching potions, fire potions. Okay. The gunpowder. Well, I don't know if it's gonna produce a lot of gunpowder, but we just, it does, okay, so maybe we don't we won't even need the gunpowders we've made at the Fire Nation <laughs> because it's not that very efficient. I have just one question. Uh, if I remember right, like two days ago, you asked me to build a witch farm, and then two days later, there's a whole witch farm built. You made it in only two days? Oh, that's insane. I like the colors, it's like Halloween. <laughs> Old black. Yeah, no, no, that's right. Well, I'm missing some red, maybe, but uh, yeah, it does remind me of Halloween. Alright, so me, I just made the lucky thing for the moment. And we've already got some trades in the train center. That's the main part of it. Vagram came to trade like 24 lions. So we did attract some people to come at the Fire Nation. But maybe we'll add to continue the marketing campaign. As I don't know if Vagram was the only one to come there. So if you have any mission <laughs> for me next. Ah, wonderful. See what I've got here. So where is it? Oh, it's just in my inventory. I've just bought some fresh room lights that we've traded. In fact, I told you that some people came to trade in our trading center and they got us some room lights. So as you've seen, the Fire Nation has now got a super cool witch farm and hopefully this should provide us all the redstone we need and maybe even foster the interactions with the other academies. But for my part, uh, I will probably keep working on our marketing campaign to attract more people to the Fire Nation, because all we need is them to trade resources in our markets so we can have all we need when we want to build something. But for the moment, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. I thank you all guys, and I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you did, please, Consider sharing it with your friends, that will be the word to us, and I see you in the next episode. Bye!